Welcome back to jungle. Check it out. Free gold! Every time I play Belveth, they deliver that free gold right on my raptors. What a coinky dink. What? Just because I started sweeper? You know, some people, they don't even know that free gold's there. They never run sweeper. It's a shame. Speaking of free gold, we're running free boots and we're running futures market this game. Whenever you're in a farm heavy matchup, in this case I'm against Talia, uh, these runes kind of take precedent. Sometimes. And sometimes domination tree is better. Stay tuned. Stay tuned to be permanently confused about which runes to run on Belveth and when. I'll be starting the top side here. We get a fast level two. Now, to invade the Talia on the blue buff would be fine. The odds of them having wards honestly feels pretty high though, so I'll get my level three and then we'll kind of play it by ear. I don't even know if these guys started on my blue side or not. Talia is one of those champions too. She just walk right in there. She has a billion movement speed. Anyways, for the runes, we got PTA, Triumph, Blinge the Nasty, and Coop. A little bit of extra damage. When you're playing into champions where there's not going to be extended fights, you do not need Conqueror. So, we got the PTA for more burst damage. Really empowers your ganks and your invades. Not so much the team fights, though. Not so much the skirmishes, and that's completely fine. As Belva does not have to play for those. Fiora, baby! Come on. Q. Nice. That one little overstay is going to cost her big. And then we're going to sweep her W. Moving. Q. Moving. E. Nice, got her. <laughs> Talia with a blue buff and using her flash already. I'll just go ahead and reset. We're looking to get on the bot side, so... Instead of walking all the way there, we can get our two long swords and then get to my blue side camps. We do. We already got the sweeper, so we don't have to swap to that. Alrighty, so... In the early game here, we're trying to play on tempo like that. When the enemy makes a mistake, I'll interrupt my path to gank them, but until then, I'm going to be very focused on the farm. The farm's going to make me strong mid-game. The ganks give me gold, they put the enemy behind, but what I really need is a lot of consistent... Go ahead. Oh, she missed it. Consistent and steady income of gold. And whenever you clear your camps, especially in a John Fool clear, you get them respawning in the same line. So then they'll be there again, and again, and again. And again, you guys are <laughs> and Jinx just walking past. The Jinx and the Orianna both walk past like a million minions. Talia is level four, so that scuttle crab is all yours. That's fine. That's a okay. Wait, I'm level four, Bob. Wait, the Talia is trying to dive. You're making it too easy. Q moving. She has no flash. We're gonna Q flash W Q auto, and then we're gonna Q auto auto Q moving. I can't get that guy. Too much movement speed. If I had another Q, we might be in business. Well, just like with that free ward, <laughs> I get some free kills in the early game. How about that? An easy three three freebies. I'm going to go ahead and reset. Even if I do blue buff, that doesn't give me a level up. So I'll just reset to the top side with the Noon Quiver. We'll be clearing fast enough, and we're kind of good to go from there. Noon Quiver, Dagger, and we're looking to do two camps here, the Krugs and the Raptors, and that will give us level 5. And then we can start looking for fights. Belvest level 5 is very strong, and it also makes you tankier, and usually you're going to farm enough to get, say, the Noon Quiver and at least some component. And then you're going to be a whole lot stronger than a level 3, level 4 Belvest fighting with two long swords. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, this guy speaks English. That's a smart guy right there. Yeah, he took English class in school. Yep, Talia is showing me exactly where she's at once again. Bink, bink. Maybe I shouldn't have used my W, damn. Talia, I love you. Go ahead, smite that for me. Thank you very much. Pretend like I'm leaving, sweeper. Move right back in. <laughs> Pantheon's not level 6, not even close to it. Now she only has her Gromp or Wolves to go to, so we'll sneak on in. Talia, I love you. Give me a kiss. She's going to go to her red side if she doesn't go this way. So, alrighty, that makes things pretty simple for me. I'll just take these Void Grubs if you're not going to contest. So yeah, I skip uh, one camp here, the Wolves in the blue, and that's entirely fine. As those camps would not be giving me a level up, and I get the Void Grubs for free. Woodgroves gives me a little bit of XP. Getting objectives, okay. Not getting the empowered form off these is totally fine, too. 
dies to red buff. Would I gank top here? No, that Fiora is level 6. Fiora has three long swords and a Dorn's Blade. And my blue side camps are up. Since Talia has pathed bot, she's probably finished her clear and is looking for a play. So as I'm doing these blue side camps, yeah, if they give me any sort of signal, then I can go. Well, that was easy. Q, ulti, W. That didn't really work out for her. I don't know if Talia has flash or not. Go ahead and wait in the fog of war here. And then we're going to Q. Q. Well, we really intimidated him, that's for sure. Yeah, send me right toward you. Now I won't get stunned. W. Q. Auto. Auto. Q. What a bad engage. Go ahead and reset. Dragon Slayer's 14, though. You know, what if I just got a little camp? What if Fiora came and kicked my ass? We're about to find out, Bob. Let's save at least one backwards Q here, just in case we have to run away from Fiora. But if I get this one camp, then I'm really in business. Auto Q, E smite, and now we got the whole Kraken Slayer. Level 6, Kraken Slayer, we're really online, Bob. I'm gonna clear towards bot side. Supposed play around that dragon, because ganking a Fiora is easier said than done. Whereas ganking a level 5 Rumble and 5 Rel, once I finish my full clear, I'll be level 7, and then we're really talking. I just noticed too, check out Oriana's IGN. <laughs> Church of LS, hashtag Vigar V2. If only I was a one of those type of coaches, you know what I'm saying? Alrighty, let's clear the camps down. Church of Sayer Pelson, we study John Full Clearology. Listen, Bob, I want to know a little bit about you, okay? For as much that I talk to you, you don't talk to me nearly as much. And I'm not saying that, like, it's it's been a bad thing, but I'm just wondering. What champions do you play? How long have you been playing League? And do you like playing jungle? <laughs> do you like playing jungle when it's good? Listen, when your allies hate you, one of the top ten, like, least fun roles to play, but... When it's all going good, jungle's pretty beast. This Jinx is like hard trolling, Bob. You've like gotta be like joking or win trading to walk in to the enemy like that. Now well, these plays are happening with, without me, so we'll keep farming. Until those Void Grubs are up, man. It's like kind of whatever. Sweeper, moving, Q, connects. Knock up, Q, W, auto Q, auto, auto Q, ulti. Nice, sir. My bad for the people in the back, bong. Alrighty, clean up these camps and get that reset off. We got one minute on Void Grubs. Want to get into Talia's blue site beforehand. Not looking too hot right here. That the carry's really in position, it's just not important to move. Alrighty, let's kill him. Q. Q. Bink. Bink. Q. Bink. 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 Q. Bink. Bong. W. Auto. Q. Auto. Schmack, smite, schmack, 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 schmack. Bop, 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 bop. The main deal there, Bob, is just stay in the fog of war. Whatever Jinx is gonna do, the 0-5 Jinx, let her do it, you know. Spin myself for her. Because the main mistake people make there is that they attack the enemy preemptively. The hell am I buying? Titanic Hydra. People attack them preemptively, and if you attack them preemptively, you're going to be spinning yourself or your allies. Why would you do that? <laughs> Why the hell would you do that, huh? Me personally, I'm going to let my allies spin themselves for me. Me personally, a 0-5 Jinx, she can do whatever she wants, but I won't be doing it for her, you know? Alright, to the Void Grub, let's try to get the Empowered Form. We also have very good chances on the fights, as Talia is much weaker than us. Sweeper and then waiting. Talia, I love you. Q, pop, pop, Q. Pop, Q, pop, pop, Q. Look at that damage, baby. Talia didn't know what she was walking into this, like this entire game, huh? She woke up, she wanted to play a fun game of League of Legends, not today. And we're in Master Tier like 200, so it's not even like they're bad. That's Xyle Flame right there. Bong. That's gonna be six Void Grubs for us, so now. We get that extra minion spawn whenever we hit the turret. And that will be really useful for us as we go into the mid game. With the Titanic Hydra, that will help us split push too. 
Q, and then move right into our Bob auto, and then we're going to Q auto auto Q E. So yeah, this Void Grubs can also help you tank the turret, man. You hit a champion with six Void Grubs, will spawn the minions, and then those minions can tank the turret. They won't stop you from tanking, but if you go in and out like that, then yeah, they'll tank the turret, and then you have some time to play with. Bot lane's three and nine, but that's an ally bot lane if I've ever seen one. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up all the camps, Bob. Two minutes on the objectives, all the camps. There's really nothing tempo-wise going on in the lanes either, so. The faster I get this done with, the better. I want lots of levels, lots of levels, lots of gold, and lots of XP, and hurry it up. I got places to be. I'm a busy guy. I'm like Casey Neistat. I gotta be somewhere. I gotta drink my green juice. I gotta ride my boosty board. The meanwhile, like just like the early game, if someone does something, then we can respond as we're farming. Not gonna stop though. Not gonna stop my camps to go get them. Alrighty. Titanic Hydra. Bye bye Talia. Titanic Hydra gives us um, 550 HP, so that lets us tank people as we go into the mid game. We can go double bruiser items after that. That's a good HP pool to play with, especially against some losing uh, champions on the enemy team. Nice, this is a good fight for us. They're all so low. Nice, Pantheon's in, he's baiting them all. We're gonna Q, and then we're going to flash, auto, Q, E. Q, Q, W. Oh. Titanic, bang, bang, bang. Nice, Oriana finishes that guy off. Really sucks him off right there. Oriana making the uh, Pantheon Climax, uh, ending his road. Anyways, 20 seconds on the dragon. The Rumble does not have Zonia, so it seems like an easy enough play here. We're going to Q, and then we're going to auto Titanic E. Q, moving. Q. Don't step on that, it's hot. Don't touch that pan. A little bit of turret plates here. And then honestly, I'm going to reset. Everyone's low, so the dragon is like secondary, man. Q, W. Auto, Q, Titanic. Auto, Q. It's not important to get the kill here. Go ahead, try to do the Q. Q, E, smite. Q, auto. Oh. Talia's top, so we can take this turret, man. Some would say the enemy is done goofed. And like I said, that dragon's cool and all, but what's cooler is that Rift Herald for me. I already have the world's biggest snowball right here, a fucking thousand gold shutdown, so... I'll be taking that Rift Herald, it's more power for me. It's more power for my split push as I enter the mid game too. Which I'll definitely be playing for, because main question, who gonna stop me, huh? Let's do Ninja Tabby, let's do Merc Treads, let's do Merc Treads, let's do Merc Treads, yeah. Merc Treads into Death Stance here. Shabink. That will give us our dual resistances, since we already have 550 fucking HP, then. <laughs> These resistances, the magic resist, and the armor will be giving us more value as well. As we get more levels, too, that gives us HP. Don't forget about that. And then, level 11, we also get more HP on our empowered form. Just looking to get more levels, overgrow the enemy, and then take over from there. Whoa! Who said you could start that, huh? Nice. Nice. It all cause the man. Alrighty. Now I can clean up here. Instead of going back to my camps, Talia is dead, and I'm super strong now. We can start massacring the map. Bink, 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 bink. And that's one kill. That'll be all your jungle camps. Thank you very much. As I go into the mid game two here. With this big ass shutdown, it's very important that we don't do any stupid plays, aka not reaching, not going too ham for another kill. No matter how many extra kills I get here, it's not going to make or break the game. Whereas if I reach for one, then it puts me in a vulnerable position where I can die, and there goes that thousand gold shutdown, my empowered form, and also my time spent farming. I'd be better suited five minutes from now when the Baron spawns. So it's pretty easy gameplay. All because we got that early lead. I mean, hell, the enemy gave me three freebies, Bob. They gave me three. Imagine you go into work, you get paid for three days for free. And have to do nothing. Oh. 
Oh, Nelly. Four big guys. Nope, they don't have a wave, so they won't keep pushing. We're back at it, Bob. Clear the camps as fast as possible. Even though they're killing our allies like this, it's not really important. They're not getting objectives off it. I'm farming. And they're going to need a lot of kills, Bob. A lot. I'm already at... Am I at two items? Death Dance is very close. Rumble, I love you. Hit this bad boy. Where are you at, big man? Q! Q! Ah, sh <laughs> he went bot side. Oh, man. No kills for me. Now, these guys are going bot. Instead of recalling and getting a useless Caulfield's Warhammer, we're going to stay on the map here. Keep farming. Because we can farm minion waves now. As you enter the mid game past like 14 minutes, you get pretty much even XP from the minions, whereas you get reduced XP in the early game. Alrighty, everyone's reset. So will I. Futures market, I only need 170 for this bad boy. Oh, free gold. Oh. I don't know if I don't hit it. Well, that's Fiora's ulti. Now, if I attack, then yeah. <laughs> I can be attacked by Talia. Everywhere is fucking warded somehow. When was Rel up here, huh? Back to full HP, but hey. Since Oriana dies, somebody's got to farm that top wave, right? Don't worry, guys. I got this. We got the empowered form. We'll be spawning the funny minions. If they overdo it mid lane, then I can definitely drop this Rift Herald top. And these outer side lane turrets in both top and bot lane give me a ton of gold. Waiting. I got four guys, but no Fiora just yet. Fiora, I love you. Alrighty. Death Stance, and then we're looking for Whitsend as our last item that will give us Tenacity. Magic damage on hit and some extra attack speed. Oh yeah, as well as magic resist. As Death Dance, this makes it where we won't get entirely one shot. The team comp is very burst reliant. So, with that, we kind of disable a whole lot of their burst. And then if they don't kill us and we get one kill, we sign the deal we're on. Because we'll cleanse the damage taken. Auto Q. Q. That was easy. I scared you, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, you guys really think you have... Maybe you do have something against this Oriana, man. Don't commit in, Bob. Remember, 1,000 gold shutdown. Nice. Did these kills give me any sort of objective? Not yet. Go ahead. <laughs> Jinx is pushing mid, so this is all good. This is fine. Hell, I'll drop the Rift Herald down here. Might as well. Ori ladies, I'll drive this one in. Boom. Job's done. Now we're really talking, Bob. Check it out. 123 armor. And then we're going to go a plus 50 magic resist. That's so crazy. Bang, bang. 2,300 HP. A little bit more once we have form. And then basically 120 magic resist and armor. It's so, so crazy tanky. It's so crazy because we're, we deal so much damage as well. Belveth is so messed up like that. Ugh. Darius fighting for his life. I can barely auto a golem. Alrighty, Bob. Our next goal is going to be that dragon. Yeah, maybe if this guy dies. That... Nah, we need Darius. I need Darius to do the damn Baron because I don't have any tank. Talia, I love you. Q, auto. Auto Q, auto E. Close. Talia, I love you. But you can get away this time. To the dragon. We're probably going to be too slow anyways. Pantheon, I love you. Just so I can get empowered for him. Bink, bink. Now, we're not going to have enough time to start the dragon ourselves, I don't think. Plus, everyone's dead. So I'd rather play for the picks here. Q. And then waiting. Oh. 
Bop, 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 Q, W, Q, bop, bop, Q. Don't commit in, Bob. Listen, that's a rel. If that's a Braum, a rel, Leona, just chunk them. That wins the fight from the get-go. They don't have any front line to enter. Bong. Alrighty, back to farming, Bob. Despite how strong we are, despite, you know, all the action in game, it's going to be about that Baron. It's only 21 minutes in. And I'm still looking to get that level 16. Level 16 with four items and we're home free. If we get a Baron, then we win the whole game. But so long that the enemy doesn't get Baron in the meantime here, then we're winning. It's not so much about winning right here, right now. It's about, I'm going to win. What are you going to do about it, enemy team? Shout out to StarCraft players. Alrighty, camps are done. Let's move up the map a little. Aurel, I love you. Q, bang, Q, moving. Oh, uh, Banshee's Veil. I'll have to smite the Talia now. Q, W. Bink, bink, Q, E. Ulti. Whoa! Okay. Listen, for all your 5 and 9 action jinx, that was fine. Now they still have Pantheon ulti, but that's okay. They have no chance of stealing this bad boy. Fight. That's going to be all she wrote, Bob. That's the only chance that the enemy gets is a random win on the Baron. The Baron's going to give us the empowered form, the funny minions. We already have six Void Grubs. We're going to spawn more of those. And it gives us XP. And it gives us gold. And it helps our team push. Like, ay ay ay. It's reset. Wits in. And it's time to split push. Time to cause a massacre in the side lane. Wits end and Iron Elixir. So we got... Our four items here, which is absurd. And now, we're not going to get to another item, so we can start going like a elixir. You can't go stopwatch anymore. And then I'm looking to side lane. I spawn the funny minions anytime the minions die. And then I also spawn the void grub, so it's going to be a real problem for the enemy here. And then, the main deal, if I was pushed up with my team, it just wouldn't be as useful since I'm so strong. I would rely on a fight being started rather than having the ability to just be a nuisance in the sideline. But it's very hard to attack an Iron Pot, Wits in, Merc Treads, Belveth. Especially when you got all your resources topside. Let's push it in here. Second I see people in the sideline, that's when I want to get it going here. It would only be... I don't even know who actually... Auto E. Q. It would only be Rumble coming down. Alrighty. Waiting for the next wave. Nice. Dude, this Talia has died so many times. Nine deaths. Boom. Bang. And just like that, level 16, Bob. Level 16 gives us our third point in our ulti. More damage, more HP. The classic here. They commit everyone mid? That's fine. One person may have to die here. But they can't stop this push. They don't have time to stop both side lane pushes. If they attack mid lane like that. Auto Q. Bop, 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 E. See ya. Bong. Pantheon, I love you. <laughs> Pantheon. Let it rip, man. Beat me up. Q. W. Alright, check it out. Q, E. Bong. Bop, 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 bop. Q. Bop, 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 bop. Q. Final score. 14, 0, and 8. GG. GG. Belveth, baby, I love you. We got to honor Church of LS. Shout out to LS. He's autistic. Alrighty, and that will put us at Masters 185 LP. Final damage dealt 1,700 and damage taken 21. With that PTA dealing 1,800 as well. That is Belveth, Bob. We The enemy made some mistakes, and all you have to do is take that free ride into the, into the late game. Nothing crazy. Don't have to overforce plays. Especially where I didn't have, like, big front line. I had Orianna and Velkaz as my helpers. And yeah, we didn't have to do anything too crazy. Enemy team, Rumble, Pantheon, Rel, Talia. These guys, at least a Talia that's behind, they have to force plays early and keep it going, you know. So the onus was on them. It was simple enough to just ride the victory in. Alrighty, GG. Thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye! See ya!